I'm Lee. And I'm Nick. And we are The Lodge Guys. Last year we bought an old decorator's van and converted it into a camper van. Join us now on this series by clicking the subscribe button below and follow us on our latest adventure where we set sail from Dover and head into Europe for the summer. Welcome to a new day in Switzerland. We are up bright and early. We're heading back into Grindelwald uh, to try and park, fingers crossed, somewhere. It's very busy in there. Just day parking. We have some adventures planned for today, including zip wires and little buggy cars and all sorts of stuff. Um, but we didn't realize how, how much of a busy place it is. So um, we're up, we're gonna go try and get a parking space and then uh, we've got our tickets booked already. So uh, we've just got to get to the adventure place and um, there's no time limits. You've just got to queue and get on the uh, the activities. So we're driving on this beautiful road with the uh, river at the side of us, the glacial rivers which Nick washed up in last night. Not wrong with that. <laughs> um, and uh, hoping for a lovely day in Switzerland. So that park up where we stayed last night was perfect for us but a very very busy place. Get there early. Vans coming in all the time trying to get in. Even at like midnight they were coming in. We just left and somebody got our space straight away in a, a big caravan, towing a caravan with her, with the car at the front, don't know where they're going to put the car. Look at that beautiful river. Um, so yes, 10, well 10 euros it cost us, or 10 Swiss francs. And the guy came around for payment last night. Um, but yes, get there early. I know a lot of reviews say get there before 3 p.m. Um, to guarantee a spot. We were a lot later than that, but we got the last space. We we're very lucky. So we've looked on Park for Nights and got a couple of car park spaces. So if you do use Park for Nights, um, don't forget it's not just for overnight places as well. It's great for looking for daytime car parks as well for motorhomes. Um, so we've programmed it into one place, which is probably the main car park in Grindelwald. For motorhomes. For motorhomes. Uh, well, not just for motorhomes, it was for all sorts of cars and stuff. Um, so we'll see if it's, it's busy or not. If it is, then I've got a, a backup uh, plan B, which also is from Park for Night, which says it's a great place, 15 minutes walk to the town, and it's a good space if all the main ones are full. And it's um, early in the morning, not even 8 o'clock, I don't think, and look at all the gondolas going. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. Oh, we're thinking that what UK time. Yeah, it's nine o'clock now. Uh, but look at all the gondolas going already. Look at the pops, the bloody posts are leaning over. But I don't think we're going on that one, are we? Thank God. Well, it we could be, I don't know. Look at that, that, that. That's where Heidi were filmed, I reckon. That's where they filmed it. The whole series, right there. Fraulein Rottermeyer ran up that path. Heidi was in, in um, Goat Shed with Peter. That's I the did, adult version. I did watch it. I did watch it back in the day on the BBC. So yes, the first thing that we're going to do is get on a gondola to take us to the top of a mountain to get on a zip line. Cable car to most people. Yeah. Here we are. It's pretty empty. Right. Where do we get in? You can't stay overnight though, here, unfortunately. Right, we've just paid for parking. It's quite reasonable actually. Five hours is five Swiss francs and a full day is ten Swiss francs. So we've just paid for a full day just in case because we just don't know how long we're going to be. And look up there. The moon is still out on top of that um, mountain. Right, let's go and get a gondola. Do you know where to go? Uh, up here. Look at that beautiful scenery. I, just, I know I keep going on about it, but it's just stunning in Switzerland. Watch, we need to watch Heidi when we get back. Right, so this is what we get with our ticket, the gondola ride, which we're queuing for now. The first flyer, or the first glider, we're going to do the first flyer, which is a sit-down one, mountain car and a bike if we want to do it. And it's currently, I know, a three-hour wait for the sit-down um, zip wire. It's just like we're in Epcot, we're off to Magic Kingdom. They're a bit rustic looking now, aren't they? Get ready! It's just like you're coming in. Half built into cliff. Oh my god, where are I already? Look behind you. It is very smooth. Apart from that bit. Herzlich willkommen bei der Fiesta Top of Adventure. 
I can't really feel like a, um, a change in station, so it's gonna bounce about a bit. Oh, because we're gonna change, we're gonna change directions, aren't we? That one's bad a bit. Right, so the other guys have got off the first stop and we're carrying on to the first. It's called the first. Watch it take off like it does in Epcot. <laughs> it's a little bump and I love it. Oh, at least now I can see. Yeah, actually, I'd like to get to this side and see the views of that. That's, oh my god, look I at the believe views. I can squashed six people in here. Look at the view. Check, check this And it's, it's just like the Epcot one, i.e. it's so smooth and yeah. quiet, isn't it? But a third of the sides. Yeah. But exact same technology. You can see that the, uh, the Epcot copied off it. Yeah, oh, even, look, at the, look at the carts. Even when... Um, the mountain carts here. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing there. later. I can't wait for it. You said there were no wait for that? Um, 75 minutes for them. Oof. They go a bit slow. Um, even when the announcement comes out, it goes diddle just like it was in Epcot. And like, then in multiple languages, like they don't say, you are approaching the gateway to Epcot. Obviously, an Imagineer has based it on this. Now, I think, I'm pretty sure that I read that Disney had, had approached the company that made gondolas in Switzerland and Italy. Copied. The ski, ski resort, and not copied, got them to do it. Yeah, all oh, right, okay. Right, so we are going up to the first flyer station, which is what we're getting on. This is the first glider coming down here. We didn't want to do that because we did a fit similar thing in Wales, but that's four people laid down. So you can do that, that was called the first glider. Four people together laid down. Oh, it's like an eagle. Like an well, eagle, yeah. But we've gone for this one because we've not done one like this before. You just dangle. You're just in a seat. That's what we did when we did to go eight. You know, when we kept yeah. spinning. But these keep you straight forwards. Look at the valley bottom down there. It's amazing. It doesn't even look that far. So we just got to the top and it's 10.15 a.m. and all tickets are now sold out for all the gliders, the everything. So uh, make sure you pre-book your tickets. So this is how short the queue is, but this is the three hour wait, because it's only, yeah, we've been here about an hour. It's only like they get two on, then another one comes back, then they get another two on. So it takes a long time. I just got a photo of this shot, but I had to include it in the vlog. Just look at that. All the wildflowers and the Swiss Alps in the background. Absolutely amazing. No screaming there, Nick. Is that going to be you? No screaming. Too slow. Okay, so if you're going to do this, either do it out of season or be here on opening, but be prepared to wait three hours for one of them because if you do this one, you've still got a queue for this one. So we've got a second one after this. We were going to do that. Mountain we'll see cats. what it's like afterwards, but that's still almost three hours. But they've got these little sort of they're like scooters. electric scooters that are 20 electric. minutes. They're not electric. They're not? Yeah. Oh well, but well, we might do that because they do look quite fun as well. Right, it's 12.50 we enter the queue at the walk past 10. So that's basically about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, and we've just gone from there. <laughs> yeah. That's it, yeah? We've probably got 20 minutes to go as well. Here we go.
adrenaline rush. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you it's could a... feel the warm air as you were coming down. It's over before you know it. It's just like, <gasps> and it's done. But it it's... didn't feel like a minute that, oh my God, look how far we've come down. It's one of those things that you need to go back on straight away just to, I'm not doing another three girl, hours. But three hours. All right, so the, the original plan was to do the buggies, the, like the Mario Karts, but it's another 90 minute, uh, 90 wait. minute wait for that. So we got these, called, they're called trot bikes or something. Trotty bikes. Trotty bikes, because there's no weight whatsoever. They're like scooters with handlebars. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're seats. We, you stand up and we're going to the bottom of the mountain now, yeah? Yeah, and then we're going to get the gondola right back to the top, because then we're going to do the cliff walk. And some lunch. Yes, lunch first. That way, I presume. Right, we switched to GoPro mode. Just getting my bag on. Are we ready? Oh, it's got a little bell, thank goodness. Don't ding your bell, it'd be like just like digging Mary Poppins in out. <laughs> oh, I, I would, it's weird because I'm just going, I'm, I was going to pedal. Oh, that food smells nice. Oh, I quite like it actually. Oh shit, they're going fast. <laughs> It's like I'm, I'm kneeling down. Because handlebars are too small. Wait a minute, your handlebars are higher than mine. Check that out, oh my God. That is absolutely insane. You can even see the path down below where we're gonna be going. doubt that was the best thing we've done so far on this whole European trip I think the trotty bikes and it, that was like the forfeit for us that we were like yeah we'll go on them bikes if we really have to at the end that was a bit with the lowest queue yeah we we're gonna go on the like little Mario Kart things but as we as you go up you can see them coming down and they looked very slow and there were loads of them they were having to like wait for everybody so we were like oh we just can't bother waiting Gonna speak now. Have just catching my breath. Trying yes, to push it all the way up a hill to drop the um, bikes off. We were like, oh, can't bother waiting an hour and a half. Had we not just waited three hours for the zip bike, we might have waited, but I'm so glad we didn't wait because we've got those bikes. And it was a cross between our e, e scooters, Majin Mateo, and a proper bike. And they didn't half go flying down. They're, They're made for downhills, you can't go yeah. uphill with them. Well, well you can't just gonna go push them. Just, you pushed it up a hill where you have to drop it off. But the views, I mean, we look, look at the views we now. We were looking at that all the way down, and it was just. We came down just, in fact, we came down these roads. Yeah, yeah I'm sure we and did. These, some of these are people's houses, aren't they? It people became were, a normal estate. Yeah, people, people cutting the grass. Yeah. And we were just like, oh, it's just amazing. There's a load of bikes in front of us that are coming back up. Oh, no, yeah, I can see them. We've got a few more countries to do before the end of this road trip, I'm calling it now. I reckon this is going to be my favourite country that well, I've probably got, ever been to. We've got two theme parks to do. Well, yeah, but that's this is just natural beauty, beauty. and stunning. And it's, it is stunning. It is beauty and it is stunning and it's just amazing. blows your mind away. I there's glaciers it. and there's snow. There's waterfalls like in every hundred feet around the cliff. There's like a waterfall with water running down. And they're all out cutting the grass and it felt like Hobbiton. When we were coming down those houses, it felt like we were in like um, the Shire. This is one of those places where, I mean, I know we've only seen a little bit of it and there's a lot more to Switzerland. We're going to Zurich, so we'll see a city. But so far, this is a place where if you, if somebody said to me, where do you want to go on a holiday? 
Uh, your favourite place? I'll come here at Christmas. Switzerland. I bet it's nice here at Christmas. Yeah. Not to come skiing, just for like a long weekend. For all the, um, come to Grindelwald. Christmas stuff. Go into the town and just enjoy it and with the snow and do like some maybe snow and wheel activities or something like that. We'll have to look into that. Right, so we haven't said how much this costs, so you can book the individual attractions separately, which would come to way, way more than what we've paid. We paid 97 um, Swiss francs, so about 80 per person. per person, about 75 to 80 quid each. And that includes unlimited use of the gondola ride, right up to um, Grindelwald first, which is actually the name of the mountain. Um, it's not just the name of the rides. And then all the rides are named after the mountain. First flyer, first glider. Uh, and you can choose a single activity package plus the gondola or a two activity package plus the gondola. We chose the two um, package. My ears are popping because we're going that high. Done. Um, so yeah, so book online and make sure that you get here. If it's in season like this, like July, make sure you are queuing at that first gondola that goes up the top of that mountain for nine o'clock in the morning or 8.30 or whatever time it opens when you come and go straight to the busy rides the first. You want to do. They actually stopped selling tickets at 11 o'clock this morning and there's people going to be queued there now that bought them before Rand or an, or an adventure package until about five o'clock tonight. And some people who've bought the tickets are not going to get to ride. The which, guide already said is, that, which is not fair. No. They shouldn't oversell tickets if they know they can't no. do the capacity. Um, but the glider, not the glider, the, the flyer was very disorganised. There was they were only sending two at a time, despite being four lines. And they were using a winch to pull the harnesses back up, but they were only going at half the speed you were going down. So each individual ride took seven minutes per uh, per line. And we worked it out from the bottom of the steps. It was about 47 minutes from the bottom of the steps. And from just where we started, it was like three hours, three and a half hours. And it's, it's crazy to say because that zip line was amazing. But I preferred those the bikes. The bikes, the bikes were just, the best. <laughs> they were brilliant. They were brilliant. I wasn't expecting anything from no, it. I just thought, oh, this is a 20 minute wait. It's going to be ride. like. Nobody's, nobody's obviously wanting them. Yeah, it's going to be like the teacups yeah. of, of the um, of Grindelwald. There were actually quite a lot of people on it. There were. A lot of slow people, though. Yeah, I had that to were keep like. slowing down because people weren't so slow and I had to keep waving. But like, yeah. that was the part of the fun of it. Yeah. So we've not had anything to eat today, nothing. Not even a cup of tea, not even a drink, nothing. It's quarter past two, because we didn't expect to be waiting for three hours for that. No, so better? we're heading right back to the top, we're gonna grab some food, and then we're gonna do the cliff walk, which is also included on the ticket as well. Well, yes, the cliff walk, and then there's a photo point, what's, what takes you right out, but I've seen many vlogs on it, and it's a right queue apparently for yeah. lots of people, so we'll see. This robot hooks oh, um, those little buggies onto a gondola and then it, it brings them up here. <laughs> Chicken and um, pom. Chicken the nuggets. Most expensive chicken nuggets and chips that you've ever paid in yeah. like 21 20 euros. euros for yeah. that. And we got a um, dessert and some water and some beer. Beer was 10 cents yeah. cheaper and more expensive than water. Yeah, so we have shared. It. But um, we want some we, we, we want fondue. Some, you want to try something down in town later? Yeah. Is that because you're a cow? Never even gave it a second thought that Swiss Army knives come from Switzerland, but there you go. Lee um, once went through an airport with one of these in. I know it was on on a cruise and they confiscated it. That was as bad as Voulez Vous. It was Disney Cruise. It was as bad as Voulez Vous. I don't know. So we've come out to the viewing terrace, so recognise that place. Um, so this is where. Is this like self service here as well? Uh, no, it's not because the ketchup's free on the table here. We wondered because we paid 70 pence for it and it's free in self service. Is that for when you come in winter? So the. Um, is it, what's it called? Is it the Skywalk? So there are usually massive queues for it, but you can get just as good a view stood here through the glass. You don't need to stand on the end. Oh my god, look how far we've come from the village where, where Madge and Mateo are parked. So we're now going to go and find the sky... No, no, the cliff walk. Cliff walk. And hopefully it's not just... too busy. Oof. So you can actually come on the exit. I'm sure you're not supposed to, but there we go. And it stays walking up to the edge over there. So okay, there's a cliff walk sign. It's not that road that we thought. So presuming you come through here and... Um, 
you walk around this edge and then end up back in that queue to uh, to stand on the end. My God, look at that view! It's absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. The, the air, look at that waterfall. It's mo it's like it's moving in slow motion. It reminds me of Insurrection when they were hiding in the mountains. Do you know what I mean? Or even Stargate in the um, Ark of Truth, where the spaceship blasted out the top. Right, so the first cliff walk is along here. What's that? There. Another gondola station. Summer Express, go? it says. Oh yeah, it goes up there, look. But what is it? I don't know. Right, that's the walk we're going on. You have no chance. Hey, get lost, come on. Come on. Yeah, it's just vaulted in. It's come on, you paid $90 for this ticket or whatever. Yeah, vault gives away. You'll, you'll see more than you have bargain for. Gotta get his money's worth. <laughs> just watching them look is just like, wow. You know what's been, you know what's below you when you can see people uh, watching it, look at all them. Wait you get around this corner. You can feel the vibrations in the yeah. walking. Oh yeah, you can look down as well, but it's just grass at the minute. Yeah, give it a few minutes. Oh well, yeah, it's getting more open. Oh, oh look at, oh wow, paraglider, hang glider, whatever they call them. Don't look down. I was just saying to Nick, I'm not sure whether I'd love or hate that. Hang gliding. No, you're stuck, you've got to go. <laughs> you were this in claustrophobia. No, but I can't turn back. Oh my goodness, look at that down there. I'm looking down now. It do not actually bother me this, I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god, look at the views. Just my mind processing the what ifs. Oh, there's some, there's some little binoculars here, Nick. Oh, fixed. Watch out for that. There's a wasp near, yeah. your, near your mouth. There's no, there's no lenses in them. Mm. You're just looking at the two tubes. <laughs> oh my God, there's a drop in here. Oh, they're like the draw, uh, the uh, hanging bridges in Switzerland. I'm on real ground. You want me to go first, then? You can no. see me. Well, go on then. Something. Um, Familiar to see in front. Oh, oh my God, Lee! Lee usually gets stressed when I held the camera over the edge. Just, just keep walking, keep walking. It's moving. Yes, yes, move. That paraglide is going to land. Oh my god! I'm gonna have a house here, summer house. Oh, do you think you are? Stephanie Beecham. Easy that, not to it. Oh yeah, were you just putting it all on then when you were like yeah, shivering, sh shaking and shivering? Shaking and shivering. You're shaking it, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that I just filmed right over there now. So you can queue for a long time for that, but you get good views from here anyway, so we're not going to bother. We're going to get down into the town now, we want to explore. Cheap Go, fondue now. We've got another 25 minute gondola down, it's a shame we can't get the bikes down again. Our final gondola of the day, or as we call it, the Swiss, the Swiss, Swiss Skyliner. Stopped off for a little uh, treat, um, a chocolate, warm chocolate muffin, cold iced um, latte. An oval teen. Nick's got an oval teen. Because we had those when we went to the um, uh, Gelder Balm thing yesterday, they gave us some chocolate rocks oh, and yeah, they were oval teen for They tasted like Malteser. And I looked up, and that is the um, Swiss version of oval teen. Oval malt. Yeah, because I said oval teen, I didn't know what I forgot what we're talking about. Yeah, probably. Well, just a boule vu. Anyway. Um, I've got that. Oh my god, it's delicious. I need to get some when I get home. And then I've got the nicest ice cream that you'll ever have. 
it actually must come from those cows that are in the hills dinging the bells. I got you them Horlicks anyway for the Dolce Gusto machine. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it on the camera as good as I can, but that waterfall there, look at it just trickling out of nowhere. It's just like something off the um, the Elves' kingdom in um, Lord of the Rings. Rivendell. Yeah, Rivendell, that's it. Right, we're back in the van and we are making our way up to Zurich. Uh, now, we've had a couple of days in Grindelwald. Um, we did consider um, staying in Interlaken for another day down in that area but to be honest it's really really busy and we're struggling to get any car parks or camping sites down there uh, obviously we're in peak season now there was, only peak... one, there was only one thing to see and that was the Harper Loom yeah and that was up another cable car we did that today yes. um, I, I keep saying peak season for obviously for us peak season is July but their peak season might be winter I don't know we'll have to have a look at that but it's their blogs. peak summer season yeah. July and August is their peak yeah. summer so we decided to head up to Zurich because that was our next place and then find some things to do there um, I've just found uh, something on Park for Nights which is something that's uh, offered by the municipal new municipality um, council that, that council yeah um, free where we get rid of his water grey water blue oh. water um, and fill up with water so it's only five minutes away so if this works out well that'll be good because it means we can it means we don't have to stay in a campsite no we don't have to stay in a campsite there if we, we're all full with water we don't have to do our washing in the river like we did last night well that's because we were running out of water exactly um so we need to fill up with water and empty our toilet and stuff like that and um, so if we can do that here getting going on part for nights it's a great app it's part for nights um you can find all sorts of there we just found a water a fountain on part for nights where some people have filled up their um, water but we couldn't we didn't have the right connector but I filled a couple of bottles of water so we've got drinking water um, I do love part for nights I must say um, so we do this then we'll head on to Zurich it's only about an hour, an hour from here so it's not that far from Grindelwald um, then well, we'll find... we've been driving an hour yes yeah, well. but what were it it was two hours two hours um, and we'll find somewhere to park for the night so here we are thank you to park for nights for this Filling our water up and ooh, no, you have to just pull it forward a little bit. And there's some other things in there, and you can tell it's what somewhere where you get rid of your waste. I don't know where it is, can't find it because it smells very bad around here. Right, we're going to see now whether we can get into this campsite or not. It's very late. It's in terms of, ahead. in term, it's said to ring ahead, but my uh, phone wouldn't fallen through. Um, so it's half past seven. We haven't rung ahead. In and 200 meters, your destination will be on the right. It looks busy from the road, so we'll see. If not, we'll have to find a car park. They were full. Very, very sorry, but very full. Um, again. It's in not great for the camping the and motorhomes near Zurich. Well, not just Zurich, Switzerland. Switzerland, stop. and uh, a lot of people on Park Nights say the same thing. It's very um, hard uh, to find somewhere. Did find another place, but they wanted 60 euros per night. Um, I'd rather sleep in a motorway services. And it's quite expensive because we do fancy two nights here. So it'd be like 120 euros for two nights. So found um, a car park with a lake view. That will, view. You're making it sound like it's a, like a, a special resort. It will be free overnight and um, it gets good reviews on the park for night and it's only five minutes away so we'll just see because we're getting a bit timed out. Time well, you can, well, you can only pay for four hours tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, so we'll have to find somewhere to park tomorrow to explore the city. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get in here and then just cook us some salt, some beans on toast, or something, have a nice cup of tea and uh, hopefully have a nice sleep and then uh, find some for tomorrow. We couldn't get in at the last the one, we're still looking for then turn left a park up. But as you can see, it's completely different from Grindelwald now that we've left that beautiful bubble of... of what? So one thing's familiar. What? You can't park anywhere. <laughs> no. But um, now we're in sort of close to a city, you can see it's kind of like any, any other city. And it was just that Grindel Vault place that was just like the most beautiful place on, on Earth. Left onto Hopefully we can get in at this next Continue one. Thank the Lord we've got in somewhere. We're here for the night. Uh, we just have to pay for two hours and then it's free overnight. Um, and it get good, gets good reviews on um, Park for Night. So um, it's not the greatest spot. I mean, there's, there's a park behind us. 
and there's a waterfall up there, which is quite nice. But uh, we'll have to just decide what we're doing tomorrow now. I think we should just go straight to Germany. <laughs> We can't park anywhere. I know. They don't cater for they don't cater for people in motorhomes, so screw the city. I'm not that fussed. Beans and toast and a cup of tea. That's what I'm going to do now. I get some chocolate from Tesco. Join us on the next vlog when we do head to the beautiful city of Zurich. We then head on our way to Germany, and we tick off a bucket list item on our travel list.